While HDMI has become the de facto connector that has been used throughout the world to connect gaming consoles, multimedia devices, and personal computers to displays like TVs, monitors, and projectors, it is by far from the only player in the game. HDMI is rivaled in terms of features and performance by another very popular video interface, the DisplayPort. The DisplayPort might not be as popular as HDMI, but it has grown a massive following amongst the more hardcore computer fans. DisplayPort is most commonly found on desktop PCs and gaming monitors with higher refresh rates and that's, to be honest, where it shines. This is because, for the most part, DisplayPort has much more bandwidth capacity to support higher resolutions and higher refresh rates. Resolutions like 4K at 120Hz aren't that common in the home entertainment space, but for gamers, it is increasingly becoming more and more common. DisplayPort, like HDMI, is a digital display interface that is used to stream video from a source like a PC to a display output like a monitor. And just like HDMI, the DisplayPort standard is developed by a consortium of electronics and technology companies. DisplayPort is standardized by the Video Electronics Standards Association, or VESA for short. And again, just like HDMI, DisplayPort has also gone through a lot of versions. In this video, we'll look at the two most common versions that you may come across, 1.2 and 1.4. Also, if you are new here, we love to talk tech and showcase some amazing Sabrin products, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you stay updated. DisplayPort 1.2 came out back in 2010 and was the undisputed king for video transmission for the time. While HDMI 1.4 that came around similar time, that could only do 10.2 gigabits per second, whereas DisplayPort could do 17.28 gigabits per second, nearly twice as much. To reach such high frame rates, DisplayPort used a mode called HBR2. HBR2 stands for High Bitrate 2. HBR3 that came out after it was 25.92 gigabits per second, which was the bandwidth that could do 4K at 120 hertz and 8K up to 60 hertz, but I'll get into that later. The HDMI connector didn't even come close to these kinds of bandwidths back then. It took them quite a few years to reach a maximum bandwidth of 18 gigabits per second when HDMI 2.0 came out in 2013. This higher bandwidth meant that DisplayPort 1.2 was able to do 4K at 75Hz in 2010, while HDMI could only do 4K at 30Hz. DisplayPort 1.2 also offered more color spaces as compared to the HDMI connectors of the time. Another fun feature that DisplayPort 1.2 introduced was the ability to daisy chain one DisplayPort cable to connect multiple monitors, which was called multi-stream support. This was a great feature for many people running multi-monitor systems as you didn't need to hook up two different cables to your PC when the same job could just be done with one cable, keeping setups a lot cleaner. In terms of resolutions, DisplayPort 1.2 supported 4K at 75Hz, 144p at 144Hz, and 1080p up to 240Hz. DisplayPort even supported 5K at 30Hz, so for most people, this was more than enough. A later version of DisplayPort, which was called 1.2a, added support for adaptive sync. This is a feature that AMD uses for their free sync technology to reduce screen tearing in gaming. Another great feature for gamers. DisplayPort 1.2 also added support for standard Ethernet to be transmitted on the DisplayPort cable. In terms of audio support, DisplayPort 1.2 offered a maximum sampling rate of 786 kilohertz with eight audio channels. This was the same as HDMI version 1.2 that was offered around the same time that DisplayPort 1.2 came out. Now let's get on to DisplayPort 1.4, which was introduced in 2016. It used HBR3, which offered a maximum bandwidth of 32.4 gigabits per second. HBR3 wasn't a new transmission mode for DP1.4. It was actually introduced back in 2014 with DisplayPort 1.3. DisplayPort 1.4 supported 8K at 60 hertz as well as 4K at 120 hertz. This was done by using a compression technology called Display Stream Compression or DSC for short. DisplayPort 1.4 added support for DSC 1.2. DSC is a compression algorithm that can reduce the size of transmitted data by three times. It is considered visually lossless by the ISO standard, meaning that the to the naked eye, 
you won't be able to tell if the stream was compressed or not. But obviously, mathematically speaking, there is always some data loss when compressing data. So again, looking at the numbers, yes, there will be some data loss, but visually, you're not gonna notice the difference. The only problem with DSC is that it only worked on displays that supported DSC 1.2. So if a monitor didn't support this, the maximum resolution limits were the same as DisplayPort 1.3 that came out in 2014. That meant it only supported 8K at 30 hertz, 5K at 60 hertz, 4K at 120 hertz, and 1440p at uh, 240 hertz. That's not bad though. <laughs> DisplayPort 1.4 also supports HDCP 2.2. HDCP stands for High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection. Yeah, a bit of a mouthful. But basically, this is a copy prevention technology that is used in both HDMI and DisplayPort to prevent people from illegally copying content. You only need to worry about HDCP 2.2 support if you are streaming 4K. This is important for online streaming services like Netflix and Amazon Prime Video, for example, which only allow 4K streaming if everything is HDCP 2.2 compliant. Just to let you know as well, DisplayPort 1.4 is also backwards compatible. So you can plug it into ports that, let's say, support DisplayPort 1.2 or 1.3. In terms of color standards, DisplayPort 1.4 offered 8K at 60 Hertz with 10-bit color and HDR. If you are not familiar with 10-bit color, then here's a quick explainer. A 10-bit color system can produce 1,024 different shades of green, blue, and red to reproduce more than 1 billion unique colors. However, on DisplayPort 1.2, it could only support 8-bit color, meaning that it could only produce 16.7 million unique colors. Quite a bit of difference. DisplayPort 1.4 can also support 4K at 120Hz with 10-bit color and HDR on top of that. In terms of audio support, DisplayPort 1.4 supports 32 audio channels with a maximum sampling rate of 1,536 kilohertz. This was a massive leap from just the eight channels that was provided by DisplayPort 1.2. So what should you look out for when buying a DisplayPort cable or just DisplayPort enabled devices? Well, similar to the HDMI standard, the higher the DisplayPort version, the better support it will have but that may come at an additional cost, as well as making sure that your entire setup is at the same version to take advantage of all those new features. So DisplayPort 1.2 would be able to do the job, but if you wanna play video games at 4K at the higher frame rate capabilities with HDR support, then you're absolutely gonna need DisplayPort 1.4. DisplayPort 1.4 also offers quite important features like HDCP 2.2 support. So if you stream a lot of 4K content from Netflix or Amazon Prime, for example, then you will need DisplayPort 1.4. Now the DisplayPort standard also came out with a newer version called DisplayPort 2.0, but that is not as widely available as DisplayPort 1.4. We will cover this standard in a future video, as well as other standards in tech, just to make sure that you understand what you're buying and which option is best for you. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you stay updated with any future videos. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.